Two Apache helicopters circle over a group of men walking in Baghdad in July 2007. They've been called in to assist U.S. ground troops. A helicopter gunner asks for permission to fire. Hotel 26, Crazy Horse 1 have five to six individuals with AK 47s. Request permission to engage. The U.S. soldiers say the men are carrying weapons. They received permission and opened fire on the group. Let me know when you get it. We'll shoot. Light them all up. Come on, fire. In the incident, 12 people were killed. WikiLeaks, the group that posted the video, has identified two of the men as a Reuters news photographer and his driver. The U.S. military has confirmed the authenticity of the video, but not the identity of the two men. White House spokesman Robert Gibbs commenting on the video was vague. Obviously, it is uh, <clears throat> very graphic in nature, and it's uh, uh, and extremely tragic. The video has revived a debate over rules of engagement in wartime and how to protect non-combatants. An earlier U.S. military report said American forces acted appropriately because they thought the group was a threat. The military has also said machine guns and grenades were found near the site, but some officials have said the soldiers mistook a camera for a weapon. The incident occurred at the height of the insurgency during the U.S. military surge. Defense analyst Michael O'Hanlon is with the Brookings Institution in Washington. You had friends and enemies everywhere on the battlefield. And so that, for the most part, meant that if you got into trouble as a Westerner, you had potential help not too far away. That was reassuring. But it also meant that if you were unidentified, you had potential uh, friendly fire not too far away at a moment's notice. Iraq's journalist syndicate says the incident shows the violence that civilians have suffered during the war. This latest crime can be added to the list of crimes committed by U.S. troops against Iraqi journalists and Iraqi civilians. There are U.S. troops who are incredibly crass and cruel in their treatment of citizens and journalists as well. Reuters editor-in-chief called the incident emblematic of the extreme danger encountered by journalists when they cover wars. The news agency has pressed the U.S. military to conduct a full investigation. Gabe Jossolo, VOA News. Red, white, six, with